Hi, welcome to my video, my follow-up video to Stamp Wars 5. I'm going to show you how I made my card in Stamp Wars 5, and I'm going to make another card using that same technique. Here's a photo of some of the items that I made using the offset stamping technique. Our mystery stamp set was the Brilliant Baubles stamp set from Simon Hurley Create. Here's the tag that I made. We were challenged to each make a tag that included embossing and also we had to deal with several sabotages along the way such as we were only allowed to use one hand at one point to craft that was one of the sabotages that was kind of difficult but um, the sabotages changed and Simon Hurley was our guest and he actually picked the sabotages this time and he made some really tough choices for us and then towards the end of the live stream, he joined in and made a card with us. So if you're not familiar with Stamp Wars, I'll have a link below in the description box where you can watch what we did, learn more about it, and uh, make sure that you don't miss the next one because it's a lot of fun. It's basically a mystery stamp showdown. We don't know what stamp set we're getting until we open it and then we have one hour to make our creations and then we vote um, we have our subscribers vote on the one that they like the most so let's go ahead and get started I have a piece of craft cardstock which I've trimmed down to five by mm, I'm thinking three and a quarter um, I trimmed it to that size so that I would have room for a mat to go behind it. I knew that I wanted to do some matting with this using some Christmas cardstock from my stash. So I'm just putting it in the corner of my Misty and one of the things that will happen is, and you'll see, you are basically going to be walking your cardstock over just a tiny little bit. Uh, the ink that I'm using is Brilliance by Memento. It's a pigment white ink. And I'm going to pick a couple of the Brilliant Baubles from the stamp set and arrange them on my panel. Uh, what I was saying was with this technique, it's called offset stamping or shadow stamping. You are going to stamp with the white ink and then you're going to pick up your paper and move it just slightly a little bit over and then stamp with colored paper now why did I pick this technique well Stacy who was our moderator this time along with Simon Hurley who again he is the one who created the stamp set and he has a line of stamp products through Ranger he um, Stacy told us that we had to make tags well she had sent us tags in the mail they were manila tags they were like the jumbo size but I didn't know where I put mine so I had to use a different style of tag that I had in my stash and what I found sorry I didn't mean for it to be so dark there I guess I thought I had my lights turned up bright and now they are turned up bright I had this um, type of paper of a tag and I thought now what am I going to do to make these um, these baubles really pop because I know that if you just stamp regular colored ink on your white cardstock it's fine but it doesn't I don't know there's something about the craft cardstock that you really have to take it up a notch I think when you're stamping on it I mean yeah if you're stamping in black sure that's gonna show up just fine but depending on what color you use you know it might be hard to see on craft so I thought well I'm gonna stamp them in white and I thought maybe I can color them in with colored pencil but then I thought no I think I'm gonna stamp them in white and then I'm going to offset stamp them in a color and I picked different colors for my tag. For my tag, I picked the, the colors that I used are from Catherine Poehler's inks. 
I picked a purple and a fuchsia and a blue. And for today's card, I'm sticking to more traditional colors. Red, green, and blue. Um, and if you have any kind of uh, pigment ink that you can use for your white stamp when you're stamping it to begin with with white, if you have any kind of dye ink that you could then stamp on top of that pigment ink, you can do this technique. So any type of um, pigment ink that's white should work. You do have to stamp it multiple times. So you'll notice that I'm going over and over it again. And I'm applying a lot of pressure because my desk is warped. It has like a bow. It kind of sags in the middle. So the table isn't very even. So I have to apply a lot of pressure because it seems like it wants to stamp in some spots, but not in others. Yeah, some, sometimes I'll slide the uh, misty around a little bit to get a different section of the table. So if you see me doing that, that's what I'm doing. What I have in my hand is a dry erase marker. I mean, dry erase eraser that I use just to apply pressure so that I don't have to, um, you know, use my fingertips because that's a lot of pressure on your fingertips. And if you have arthritis like, like me, that hurts. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to, um, I guess I'm going to stamp it one more time. I removed the magnets out of my Misty. I'm hoping to get better contact looks like the one bobble on the far right it looks like the top of it seems to be missing it's not stamping fully so I'm just going to resort to pressing down as hard as I can with the palm of my hand doing CPR on my stamps try to get that white ink which is hard to see tried to get a good impression this time on Stamp Wars the people that competed against each other were Nancy, Ryan, Chow, me, and um, Stacy and Simon. We didn't know Simon was going to come. It was a surprise to us that he joined us. He t talked a little bit in the beginning and then he joined us in creating his own cards. So that was a lot of fun. Thank you, Simon, for the stamp set and thank you for sponsoring Stamp Wars. And we certainly hope that you will consider sponsoring us again in the future because it was a lot of fun. I love this stamp set. It's a big 6x9 stamp set. And it has all these really cool Christmas ornaments that have all kinds of really cool designs on them. All these different shapes. And you can get a lot out of this stamp set. So if you're in the market to make some really cute Christmas cards this year, this is a great set for your stash. All right, so I moved the paper over just like an eighth of an inch, just a very slight bit. And I've got my foundations inks from Catherine Puller. I'm going to be using Rocking Red, Grass Skirt, and Something Borrowed. Red, green, and blue. It doesn't take me as long to get this color to stamp. Um, I only have to stamp it a couple times, maybe twice, and um, it lays really nice and looks great, really pops on the ink of the ornaments. Uh, let's see, so somebody is going to win this stamp set. Um, Nancy is going to be having a giveaway on her channel. We're going to be announcing the giveaway winners this Saturday at 7 on Nancy's channel. Following, we're having a Stamp Wars Little for the, for the Littles who are the people who are part of the FSC who are um, interested in being um, competitors and who are interested in making uh, a card based on a mystery stamp set. So there's three people who were selected by the FSD administrators and design team to um, participate in the first 
Stamp Wars Littles. So they will be competing against each other. Once their competition is done, we will pick winners. So Nancy will pick a winner. Chow will pick a winner. Ryan will pick a winner. Stacy will pick a winner. And they'll probably pick a winner for me because I won't be on that broadcast Saturday night. And if I am, I probably will ask them to pick my winner for me because I won't have access to my computer at that time. But anyways, um, you want to watch the videos that were recorded by Nancy and Ryan and Chow and Stacy. Go watch their videos and comment on those videos. I'll have them linked below and that will increase your chances of winning a prize. And I am also going to give away a prize. And so for you to qualify for my prize, you have to be a U.S. resident, age 18 or older. Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and tell me what color Christmas tree ornaments do you hang on your Christmas tree? And just to clarify, Nancy will be giving away a brand new Brilliant Bauble stamp set on her channel. The rest of us will be giving away some prizes from our stash that are new or just gently used when we pick our winners on Saturday. But any way you slice it, it's a great opportunity to win some great prizes and support some up-and-coming YouTubers. Yay! I can't wait for Stamp Wars Littles because I won't be on the hot seat. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking to be in this mystery stamp showdown, but it's a lot of fun and it makes you be really creative and really have to think on your feet. And I've not won any of the Stamp Wars yet, so... I'm hoping that you guys will watch my video and go over to Nancy Stamps channel and vote for me under the community tab. Or if you're a member of the FSC, vote for me there. If you're not a member of the FSC, what are you waiting for? I'll have the link below where you can join. It's a Facebook page that Nancy and I created to help grow our crafting community. This first initial stamping, do your ornaments in white, then pick your colors and go back and do them in your colors. And then you can um, clean as you go. This is what I'm doing. I'm just trying to keep them as clean as possible. Now there's a little bit of staining, but that's not going to hurt the actual stamp itself. It's not going to come off, you know, the next time you use it. It's not going to bother the quality of your card making. And it just seems like certain colors stain, like there's certain colors of black and red that stain. Not all the colors stain. So I'm on my final ornament and I'm stamping with a grass skirt. Thank goodness for the misty. Any stamp positioning tool that you have will work just to keep things lined up. I'm really pleased with how this is looking and how how well the offset looks. It really pops. Almost gives it a three-dimensional look. Okay, so I'm going to speed this up a little bit. I am going to fast forward my video just in the interest of time so that <clears throat> it's not too long. There's a lot of cleaning going on with my stamps. And now I'm going to grab the branch, which is uh, like a, a pine bough or like a branch from a Christmas tree, an, an artificial Christmas tree. And I'm going to create a frame all around my card base panel. I'm going to use my white ink to start. And I'm going to go all the way around. And I do have to stamp multiple times. Um, I don't know if my ink pad was starting to get dry. It just seemed like the more I stamped, the harder it was for me to get an impression. And I am using a post-it note just to protect my little sticky grid sheet that I have underneath. Now I'm going down with the green right over top of the white. And it just makes for a nice impression. Uh, sticky grid sheets are available um, through Nancy's Amazon. 
shop. Basically, they are sticky but not permanent, and they hold your cardstock in place while you're stamping. You see, I'm just slightly moving the paper over. You don't have to move it over very far for this offset technique. Now, for the sides, I don't have a lot of space to stamp, but there's enough that I can get a little bit of an impression of the branch pine bough. And it looks pretty good. I'm really pleased with how this is turning out. Yeah. Here we go in with the white ink. And for some reason, I had the hardest time getting an impression on this one. I kept moving it around on my table trying to find a spot that was even and high enough to get good coverage. And I finally did. And I just turned my um, panel upside down so that I can repeat the same process for the bottom. And I figured it was okay if the branches touched the bobbles a little bit because it's a frame and it's okay if, you know, there's a little bit of an overlap, but I didn't want to cover up the bobbles too much. So I tried to, obviously I'm just stamping um, half of the pine bough, not the entire thing. So half of it is on the paper and half of it is off. And yeah, I am cleaning it in between. So I stamp it with the white pigment ink, clean it, then stamp it with the green dye ink and repeat. But it's looking really good and I don't really have to stamp more than once with the dye ink. It's got great coverage. Now, I'm going to finish off the bottom part here. Trying to get some white ink to stick to the craft cardstock. And going in with the green. And I'm just lining this up. I'm not really moving the paper. I'm just lining the branch up. It doesn't have to be an exact match over top of what I just stamped. That's the point. With offset stamping, you don't want it to be directly over top of what you just stamped. There was a little gap in between these branches, so I'm going in with the branch at an angle, and I'm just going to fill in. And that's what's nice about this stamp set, you can use this branch in so many different ways. You can stamp it at the top of your card and with the tags you could stamp a couple at the top so that it looks like a Christmas tree. Realistic. And then um, With a card base, you can stamp it at the top or at the bottom, wherever you feel like it. Now, I'm just going to use some post-it notes to mask off. I'm going to use this stamp that came with the stamp set. Thank you, Chow. I watched your video, and I watched how you did the masking, and I am copying your technique. So, the string that came with the stamp set I'm going to stamp with icing on the cake which is a brown dye ink by Catherine Poehler okay and I'm just stamping the ornament sort of like where the hook would go if you were hanging it on your Christmas tree I'm just stamping my strings and they're turning out really nice I'm really pleased with how this looks. I think it's very festive and colorful. You could color your ornaments with colored pencils if you wanted to. It's your personal choice. I always put my stamps away. I clean them with my 
with the stamp cleaner and I put them straight away back onto the base that they came with so I don't lose any of them. Now I'm picking out a sentiment and the sentiment is Merry Christmas and I'm just trying to figure out where I want to place it. I end up heat embossing this sentiment just like we had to heat emboss something during our stamp wars I wanted to make sure I heat emboss something and I picked a holographic glitter it's called Wonderlust by Catherine Puller it's a real pretty glitter and on this craft it looks gold I was really impressed um, I have some striped paper that I'm using and I'm going to actually be layering my card panel that I just created on this paper that I found in my stash, which is very festive and Christmassy. It's got those diagonal stripes in red, green, and white. I'm using a tape runner just to, um, oh no, I'm gonna pop it up on some foam tape. Give it a little bit of dimension. I have the Arteza foam tape, which is not very thick. It's, it's not as thick as some other foam tapes that I worked with, but it's really nice for card making because you don't really want to have too high of a profile, especially if you're mailing your cards. Having a pokey tool is always helpful whenever you're trying to get your backing off your tape, obviously. And then I'm going to line this up. I think it just looks so cute with the stripes. It just looks so Christmassy. And I think it just really pops off of that craft cardstock. So I popped up the sentiment that I heat embossed on the brown craft cardstock. I lost the footage of me doing it. But, um,. I thought I was recording, but I must not have been. And then I then I popped it onto some striped paper that coordinates with the background. And then I popped that up too. So I've got some dimension. Next, I'm going to put some gems down. I'm going to go with green. I'm going to pick out five little green rhinestones. Little being the main word here. They're super tiny. And then I decide, because that blue ornament is my favorite, I think it's so pretty, I'm going to grab a blue one and just put it in the center of that ornament. It just is perfect there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and line these up to make a nice even Z or M, if you'll notice. They're kind of in a random pattern, but if you would connect the dots you'll get an M or a Z that's the way you're supposed to from what I understand from what I've learned to go ahead and um, line up your little dots They're supposed to be an odd number as well I mean you could do whatever you want but they say that the odd number is more pleasing to the eyes to your brain I'm just going to use a little bit of wet glue and this little tool has a blunt end where you can grab some of the ink, I mean, not the ink, but the glue. And then you can use the other end, which is waxy and sticky to stick your little gems down. So I'm getting the hang of this. This is a newer tool for me to be using, but I like it. Thanks, Chow. She was the one who told us about this set of little rhinestones with applicator and um, we got it from Amazon and I'm pretty sure it's also linked in Nancy's Amazon shop which I'll have linked below okay so don't forget to comment to give a thumbs up to like my video and subscribe to my channel and tell me what color ornaments are on your Christmas tree and don't forget to tune in to Stamp Wars Littles which is the 21st of November at 7 o'clock on Nancy Stamps' channel, where you will see if you are the winner. Don't forget to check out all the other Stamp Wars contestants' videos, which I'll have linked below.
go ahead and check out their channels and comment on their videos so that you have the opportunity to win even more prizes. I'm showing you another card that I made with this stamp set. And oh, by the way, I found my tags. If anybody was wondering, what did you do with your tags? They were right there behind me the whole time that we were doing stamp wars. I, I think I was just so nervous and everything because I wasn't expecting to have to make a tag that I totally froze and I couldn't remember where I put them. So here we go. Here's my finished card. You can see up close now that offset stamping technique. How pretty that looks and gives it a three-dimensional look. Here's my card I made before I recorded. It features a red foil background and it features just one ornament and the sentiment joy to the world which I heat embossed and it has the pine boughs around it making a frame and I put a little bit of gems on that ornament. Here's a picture of all three of the items that I created, the tag and the two cards. And this is a picture of the FSC design team. From left to right, we have Create with Chow. There's me. There's Nancy Stamps, Glitter Grunge Greeting, which is Ryan, and SNR Creations from the Heart, which is Stacy. And there are my cards. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you real soon. Have a hopeful day. Bye bye.